UShip, Inc. is an Austin, Texas-based internet company that operates UShip.com, an online marketplace for shipping services. Individuals and businesses post items they need shipped in a variety of categories, including auto transport, boat shipping, moving services, and the transport of heavy industrial equipment. Transportation service providers, or teaspoons, on UShip place competing bids for the right to haul a customer's shipment. For some categories, including boats, autos, and less than truckload, LTL, freight, customers can select an upfront quote for transport services or enter an acceptable price to be matched with a transporter. Customers can book a shipment immediately from these quotes or opt to wait for auction bids, similar to eBay's Buy It Now feature. Here are parts of their user agreement that I want to recall to keep in mind so we can discuss them further in the video, let's start by looking at a teaspoon's terms of service, you are responsible for reading all terms, conditions, and tariffs published by teaspoons when booking deliveries on UShip. You are agreeing to the teaspoon's terms, conditions, and tariffs, and entering into a legally binding agreement with the TSP, unless the transaction is prohibited by law or by this agreement. You acknowledge that, unless otherwise noted by the TSP, pickup dates, delivery dates, and transit times are estimates only and are not guaranteed. Cancellations may be requested by either party prior to services being rendered. Now let's look at the cancellation process, teaspoons that have excessive cancellations at the time a delivery is booked will have a variable surcharge added to the TSP transaction fee. The teaspoons transaction fee will incur an excessive cancellation surcharge based on the teaspoons previous 12-month cancellation rate on UShip. Every TSP is allowed one cancellation for every 10 book deliveries without penalty, with your total book deliveries always rounded up to the nearest 10. Each cancellation above this allowance is considered to be excessive, and TSPs that have excessive cancellations at the time a quote is placed or offer is accepted will have a variable surcharge added to their transaction fee. As a transporter, we have our own terms of service, you ship as a neutral venue, does not set terms specific to transporter cargo liability except where otherwise provided by the transporter via the UShip platform. All cargo claims should be submitted immediately by the customer to the selected TSP to help ensure timely resolution, and UShip shall have no liability or responsibility for same. The customer may not offset freight or other charges against claims for any loss, damage, misdelivery, or non-delivery. Where provided by the transporter through UShip, the liability for cargo loss offered will be determined by the individual transporters governing general rules tariff or terms and conditions in effect at the time of delivery. If a load contains freight with a predetermined exception value, as determined by the selected transporter, the maximum exception liability will override the otherwise standard liability for cargo loss. The customer agrees that by booking a delivery on UShip they have been afforded a choice of reasonable liability rates for the protection of all freight shipped, and has voluntarily chosen the released rates and limits published by transporters through the platform. Now let's look at what gets your UShip account terminated. UShip may suspend or remove your account if we suspect that you have engaged in prohibited activities in connection with our services. UShip reserves the right, but is not obligated to edit, amend, or delete any prohibited or malicious content that users submit on our services. Users may not manipulate or attempt to manipulate other users' UShip accounts. We reserve the absolute right to reject or suspend your participation, or remove you from your current participation, with the UShip services at any time and for any reason or for no reason and without notice to you. We are not liable for any damage or loss resulting from such hold, suspension, or removal. An event that may result in the suspension or removal of your participation can include but is not limited to, flagging, abusive or hostile behavior, unresolved customer disputes, multiple accounts or relation to other accounts, committing fraud or violating this user agreement, and, poor performance on the site, high cancellations or negative feedback, etc. UShip has no obligation to disclose the reason for actions taken under this section. All decisions are final. If you use our services in violation of this agreement include, we are authorized to take action against you as a user and slash or take action against your UShip account which may include, but is not limited to, the immediate removal of your loads, offers, quotes and slash or profile, notifying our users of your actions, issuing a warning, temporarily suspending your user status, terminating your user status, and slash or refusing to provide our services to you in the future. Again they state that because we are a neutral venue, however, we are not responsible for successfully resolving any disputes, nor are we responsible for any decisions made or actions taken in a reasonable effort to assist in the resolution of a dispute involving you. If you report a dispute to you ship, we will make reasonable efforts to help both parties communicate, 
however, all disputes must be resolved directly between you and the other party. So with all that in mind, I will tell you my recent experiences I have had by using U-Ship for four months, and one of the things has continued on for all of the four months, all in which have broken each of these terms in the user agreement, but not by me. It all started a couple weeks after I got my U-Ship account, I ended up winning bids for Winnipeg from Calgary, there was one from Saskatchewan to Winnipeg for 13 office chairs to be picked up, which I grabbed along the way, then I went 3 hours further into Saskatchewan to drop a load, then back 3 hours to the same place again to fit in more chairs. I ended up having 9 of 13 chairs but in the end after delivery the guy refused to pay the full amount, so when I got home I called U-Ship directly about this, they ended up making an email thread with them, myself, and this guy added to it. After several attempts I finally got the payment out of him if I agreed to deliver the remaining chairs next time I am up that way, which I agreed to. Two weeks later in February, our van hit the ditch and it was a write-off, so I had to put off this delivery until May due to getting a new van after the insurance company pays us out, etc., which the customer was okay with. Months went by, then came May, this guy kept harassing me every day about the delivery since it is May now, I couldn't respond quick enough because I was out driving, doing backlogs of deliveries I had rebooked due to the accident. Then you ship started saying things like, if I can't make the delivery just say so, I kept saying I will towards the end of the month when I start booking for then, the customer got mad and said I should be booking now for then, I said no that is not how I work things. He then got irate and I said I have to cancel since I do not take abuse in any way and my terms of service, both on my website and my U-Ship account state all cancellations from either party, during slash before slash after pickup, or en route, or during delivery, will be subject to non-refund of any payment already made, to make up for travel costs, time, and slash or expenses. The deadlines and time periods indicated are not binding, unless agreed otherwise in writing. We are not responsible for delays of delivery due to force majeure or due to events which make the delivery considerably more difficult or impossible for us, including fatigue, tiredness, bad weather, mistreated, unsafe, collision, etc. Even if binding time periods and delivery deadlines have been agreed. Those events permit to delay the delivery or service for the duration of the hindrance, or to withdraw from the contract in full or in part in relation to that part that has not been fulfilled, and any payments already made are non-refundable. This is where the earlier portion comes in about the terms of a TSP, they obviously don't mean anything because I stated several times to this guy about my terms and U-Ship sees it in the email and then goes on saying that I have to refund half of his money, even though I called them first about this guy, and they are not playing neutral since now they don't seem to be agreeing with what my terms of services say. In reality he paid me $250 to get the load to Winnipeg, then I fought to get the other $250 out of him, which I should only be giving him half of that if I was even willing to but U-Ship has issued a refund of all fees associated with this shipment in the amount of 132 cordobas and 75 centavos to him anyways, and kept enforcing that it seems that a partial refund should be issued, which I declined several times or I would have to give everyone the same treatment. While all this is going on, I recently took deliveries to Vancouver at the end of April 2019, got caught up in a mess from one of them about a piano I delivered to Vancouver, the guy emailed me the wrong number for me to call his wife on delivery. When I called it, it was some guy in California that had no idea about me, apparently I find out later he wrote down the area code wrong, but in the meantime I clicked on the first address where my GPS suggested, turned out it was a school so I retyped it and took the second address that popped up and delivered it there. Now, turns out I delivered it to the wrong building, but this wouldn't have happened if I had his wife's correct number at the time to verify the address on delivery, over the course of the month. This guy kept harassing me over and over about the wrong address and viewing CCTV footage at all these buildings and didn't see me, which by the way is illegal to request watching someone on camera unless a police officer requests it. This dragged on for a while, I finally contacted U-Ship over the phone yet again about this situation, they were on my side 100% and wanted to add us to an email conversation once I say so, I didn't want to because I only wanted him to leave me alone. I even went as far as to getting my own police report done with my dash cam footage showing me unloading this and walking back to my vehicle 4 minutes later empty handed at the exact building I told this guy, I did this in case if he starts to accuse me of theft because I felt that is where it was heading. Close to 1 month later he ends up reaching out to U-Ship before making his own police report, at this time U-Ship adds us to an email conversation where it seems like they are taking his side now, asking me for addresses, which I told them, I gave him all the info I know several times, he should know it, then they wanted my cargo insurance to cover it, 
which my insurance broker said it can't be due to many factors, one there's no proof that he doesn't have it, he could be claiming it is missing. So he doesn't have to pay me the rest of what he owes me, plus it was out of my possession at that point and the insurance only covers in transit or in possession, which clearly it is not. He claimed he is a celebrity but can't afford another piano, but yet when I googled him his net worth is $4 million, and he also posted the piano as a heavy duty equipment item, and was flagged twice already, and gave me the wrong number, and then claims he didn't receive his piano, I felt targeted for sure so had to cover my ass. As of right now, both of these cases are still ongoing with UShip Daily, and it clearly shows they broke all the terms in their user agreement, and even though these cases are still ongoing, my UShip account has been suspended indefinitely for violating UShip policy and procedures, along with an email from them saying we have made the decision to remove your account at this time. We will not be able to reinstate your account and member support will not be able to discuss your suspension over the phone. I don't know which violations I did considering I refused to refund this guy due to his constant verbal abuse towards me, but yet that is okay for you ship to continue trying to get a refund out of me and keep his account. When I finally got answers from someone at UShip, they claim I am suspended over excessive cancellations, which you can see from earlier stated that every TSP is allowed one cancellation for every 10 book deliveries without penalty, with your total book deliveries always rounded up to the nearest 10. Each cancellation above this allowance is considered to be excessive, and TSPs that have excessive cancellations at the time a quote is placed or offer is accepted will have a variable surcharge added to their transaction fee, and that we are authorized to take action against you as a user and slash or take action against your UShip account which may include, but is not limited to, the immediate removal of your loads, offers, quotes and slash or profile, notifying our users of your actions, issuing a warning, temporarily suspending your user status, terminating your user status, and slash or refusing to provide our services to you in the future. Not sure why a warning or a temporarily suspension was not first. I have two positive reviews and a 100% positive rating with all five stars and my cancellations are agreed upon both parties, in fact one cancellation was due to the fact I was in accident, the other one was because Ottawa Canada was flooding and I didn't feel safe after hitting the ditch to go to a place like that where it can happen again, plus the other cancellation, even though I put it into delivery mode several times was about that piano, he keeps taking it out of the delivery mode, and another cancellation was because the trailer adapter didn't work therefore I am not towing a trailer that doesn't have working lights, and all of these cancellations were agreed upon on both parties. Now with my UShip account suspended, I am trying to lose communication with both parties I am having ongoing conversations with because if I am no longer on UShip, then I no longer need to associate with anyone on it or from it. This company is a bunch of hypocrites, no wonder so many people don't want to pay the UShip fee and call me first directly then delete their ad, I am glad I was able to make a huge clientele off of UShip before they did this to me, be careful if you ever decide to use them either as a shipper or a customer, these crooks will get you.